This video will show you the steps to do an experiment using the software on your computer that will st simulate a scientific instrument called an oscilloscope and a signal generator. Oscilloscopes are used to display sine waves generated by a signal, and the signal generator makes signals of different frequencies, volumes, and amplitudes. The frequency of a sound wave is the amount of peaks it has per second, and the amplitude is the wave's height. If the sound has got a high frequency, it will produce sound with high pitch, but if if it has a low frequency, it will produce low pitch. Frequency is measured in hertz. A sound wave with a high amplitude will sound loud, and a sound with and the sound with a low amplitude would be quite quiet. In this experiment, you'll need the sound card oscilloscope software on your computer. This software is produced by Christian Zednik and uses your computer's sound card to, uh, to produce the sound of a signal you generate and display its sine wave on the screen. The software is free for home and educational use. You will also need speakers attached to your computer and some sugar. We will be doing two experiments. In the first, we will examine what the different sounds that different frequencies produce. And in the second, we will sh see how the sound makes solids vibrate. Firstly, I'll be showing you how to test your hearing using the oscilloscope and signal generator. A human's range of hearing is about 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. But that's not true for all humans. Firstly, set the speaker sounds to a frequency of 400 Hz using the signal generator. This is the normal frequency uh, of sound we hear every day. That is in the middle of high and low pitch. set the frequency to 2000 hertz, then 5000 and then 10,000. As you might notice, the pitch of the sound got higher as the frequency got higher. By the time you get around 10,000 hertz and higher, you might observe that the sound is barely audible. In fact, there are sounds that at these, at these high frequencies that I could hear, but my dad couldn't. This is because if you are old, you'll probably not be able to hear as well as people who are younger than you. Now try and lower the frequency to 200 hertz, then to 100 hertz, and then to 75 hertz. You might have noticed that the pitch went lower as the frequency got lower. By the time you reach 50 hertz, the sound is still barely audible. In fact, at these low frequencies, I could hear the sounds where my, as my dad couldn't again. 
In the next experiment, we'll be moving sugar using sa sound from a speaker and seeing what frequency sounds will make more vibrations. Firstly, you'll need to place a small spatula of sugar on top of the speakers that are facing upwards. Now generate a high frequency sound of around 1000 Hz. You will see that the sugar vibrates gently. This is caused by the high frequency sound waves from the speaker. Now decrease the frequency to 75 Hz. You can see that the low frequency sounds also make the sugar vibrate gently. Now increase it to 100 hertz. You can see that the vibration is now much more violent. Now increase it to 300 hertz. You can see that at this frequency, the vibration is so violent that the sugar is almost thrown out of the speaker cone. Now increase it to 400 hertz. gentle and will lessen as you increase the frequency. Now increase the frequency to 200 hertz. As you can see this is the frequency best for making a mess because it is just the right frequency to make the sugar vibrate as much as possible. Thanks for watching.